Lanka Sugar Company Private Limited, under which the Pellwater and Sevanagala factories operate have been hitting new targets in production in both sugar and ethanol since 2020, making profits and addressing long-standing issues faced by the around 6,000 workers attached to these two entities, its chairman Janaka Nimalachandra who took over the two loss-making entities in 2020 says the turnaround in the past two years has been tremendous. In 2020, we had 1.1 billion rupees in profits and in 2021 1.6 billion rupees. This is from the 1.3 billion rupees losses in 2019. This is the highest profits ever made, higher dividends ever paid, he said. Lanka Sugar Company had a tremendous 2021 especially the two units, Sevanagala and Palwatta, has had two back-to-back -back great years, recording 1 billion or 1 billion in profit. When you compare the time uh, the new management took over in 2020, uh, 2019, this company recorded a net loss of 1.3 billion. From there, we were able to build, uh, make a quick turnaround and 1.1 billion profit in 2020 and 1.5 billion in profit last year. This, I think for any government institution is a massive effort and a massive uh, victory. The change came with His Excellency the President's uh, decision on ethanol imports ban. That gave us a solid foundation to build on. And when you, if I am to call the office, uh, we couldn't pay the salaries of employees and we had trouble paying farmer payments. So my first challenge was, how am I going to pay the salaries? I had to take 700 million loan from BOC and uh, for Palat, 500 million and 200 million for Sevenagala. From there on, we were able to build and it was only upward trend. We managed to increase our plantation by about 10,000 acres and increase the sugarcane supply from about 300,000 metric tons within a period of one, one and a half years. And that saw a record crushing capacity at 700,000 from about 220,000, 440,000 metric tons per year. Last year recorded the highest crushing for the 35 year history. So was Palwatta, the highest crushing uh, quantity for, a, uh, for the mass season, 450,000 metric tons. Uh, these all this was done amidst the global pandemic. I think the credit should go to the farmers and the employees for not stopping the operation, going with uh, what we started in 2020 and continuing the, that winning momentum. Um, with that, we were able to record 1.5 billion profit this year. And that too, after paying bonuses for the first time in the 35 year history, of Lanka Sugar. Last year we paid uh, bonuses in April, targeting the single and Tamil Navia and during Christmas time. For more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.